seems all right. I guess most people don't know that there's Upper and Lower Grand. The street um, that we were just on is Upper Grand, and usually when you say the cross of 4th Street, um, you have the, uh, you're, you're thinking the street above us, you're not thinking Lower Grand. So if they're to say, oh, you know, I've been stabbed on Grand, then they're gonna assume Upper Grand unless you say Lower Grand. So our guy looks, uh, he looks okay. So I think we're, uh, I think we're gonna clear out of here. FD's rolling in right now. You can, if you want to shoot, too, you can film above that. Really, like FD's rolling in behind us. Um, there's about three black and whites down here looking for the guy that did it. Huh. Not really uh, much to cover on this, um, just outside of a, an exercise for us on whether it was up or lower gram. The, um, I assumed we didn't see anything up there that it was down here, but I'd rather wait for them to find the guy than us. Not to mention there was mixed, uh, conflicting info, I should say, not mixed, but conflicting info that it was either a shooting or a stabbing, and if it's a shooting, then we're not gonna, we're not gonna wanna like dive into that. We usually wait for them to figure out what's going on and then, and then we go from there. So. All right, cool. We are out of here. A1 is plus 6, Oliver's taking on the plus 1. That if he is in there, he's moving. So we need to go down to, uh, we'll go down to Colfax, take a look. So I heard a, I heard a, a mention about somebody screaming um, what sounded like in the LA River over here in the San Fernando Valley. The LA River, oh. Subject in the wash? Okay, it sounds like we have someone in the river. It's got to be on Colfax because we were, we just checked Valley Heart. So there's reports of a, a person screaming in the in the river. Um, this happens every time it rains. We've got about a week's worth of rain coming. I'm only called generated from this location by the PR. The name of Anthony. Okay, so there's uh, there's about a week's worth of rain coming. The LA River is a incredibly expansive uh, uh, piece of uh, infrastructure here in the city, and it runs, I mean, geez, through the entire San Fernando Valley, it goes all the way downtown. I, I think there's uh, a bit that ends up going down the 710 area, if I'm not mistaken, kind of parallels the 710, and then makes its way all the way down into the harbor where it goes to the ocean. So, it's a the it's a massive man-made river network and um, all of the uh, water flow from the city when it rains ends up in the LA River at one point or another and every time it rains somebody gets stuck in the river 
and uh, LAFD has to come out and rescue. Right, so you're coming in though. So that's what I think is going on right. I'm trying to figure out where this uh, where this guy is. Apartment nine. There was a reference to a screaming man near the river. Um, I swear I heard the unit say that they've got a uh, a victim in in the wash. So we'll see. I didn't hear it too well. Um, there's two possible areas where they are. Uh, we just checked the first one, and now we're going to head to the second one. So, but again, this could just be also a homeless schizophrenic that's just yelling for no reason. <laughs> because that's LA, and that's how it goes. It's either it's either a big river rescue or it's a homeless guy screaming. So. Anthony, We're gonna find out. Oh, okay. They're saying code four. No evidence of screaming man. Valley Heart, no screaming man or woman. But I don't know where they're saying Colfax and Valley Heart, which isn't those don't really cross. So I'm not quite sure where they are. My assumption is it's over here. Uh, Colfax over the river, which is this. I don't know if you want to get out and take a look. We'll go to the other side here. And it's moving. The water is, uh, the water level is going up and the water is going very quickly. So let's drop in right here and see if we can hear anybody screaming and you guys get to look at the water. I'm not too happy. It's good. It's, anytime it rains, it's just, it's the worst. Oh, it's actually slowed down a little. Very nice. Careful, it's metal, it's slippery. Oh wow, there's a little cutout we can uh, walk over. That's kind of, it's kind of terrifying. You want to, you want to go on that? Oh, all right. So the other, uh, oh wow, look at this. Is this scary or what? Why is this here like this? Can we walk on this? No, come on. Is it? <laughs> oh no way. So, oh Tay, check this out. This is really freaky, I didn't know this was here. <laughs> so, normally the LA River is just this, this track right here in the center that you can see. But because of the rain, you can see it's starting to fill in. I don't know if you want to boost the ISO a little. This is pretty dark. It's starting to fill in over here on the side. And you, if you can see the white, see the wall where it's been painted, where they painted over the graffiti? The wall, the water level will go up to that height right there. Um, there's a pedestrian bridge here. Uh, Keith actually had a water rescue. I think it was a lady and her dog not too long ago. Um, and I think we have that footage uh, of Keith's water rescue of kind of what we're talking about. We'll, uh, let's, let's roll that really quick just so we can get an idea of what, uh, what we're looking at on a rescue. And I'm pretty sure it was right here.
So that's what we can expect when the rain start uh, when the rain starts coming down here in LA. You get people in the wash, and um, and we end up with a uh, with a situation where they're stuck in the water, and LAFD has to you know get in there and actually uh, actually take care of uh, the situation and get them out. Right now, the water level isn't um, isn't quite as high here as it was on the other section we just checked. But um, let's check the other side and see if we can listen for a minute and see if we hear anybody. But this is not fast enough for somebody to get stuck in. Yeah, they might have called a helicopter out. Wow, this, this is creepy, huh? Look at that, straight through. Can you see it straight through the metal? Yeah. There goes, uh, there goes Fox. They're probably going up to that crash on the 210 that Keith was at, but I don't hear anybody. And again, we're, normally it's, uh, it's from edge to edge and it's about halfway up um, when the water really starts flowing through it. But even that amount right here in the middle, if someone was to get uh, swept into that or even this water on the side, looking at the drainage holes that's probably only about uh about 10 inches deep right there at the corner at the deepest part because uh, it's slanted even right there that's more than enough to sweep somebody down um down the river and the middle or the sorry the uh, center part is more than deep enough but if you're out here when it really starts picking up you'll see shopping carts going by and all sorts of stuff but yeah it's, it's just a massive uh, piece of in infrastructure here in la and we don't really uh we don't really talk about it or interact with it too often uh, until somebody gets stuck in it, but I'm gonna take a listen. The cars are gonna stop here for a second We're just gonna take a listen see if we hear anybody screaming because that was the uh, what the initial call was And the water, uh, the rain's picking up right now, but I don't see anybody, I don't hear anything. Um, there's a couple things way, way out there that, that are uh, little piles of stuff, but I don't think it's a person. So, I'm comfortable leaving this uh, as is for now, and if we hear anything else on the radio, we'll come back, or maybe we'll give it to Keith, because we gotta head downtown. I didn't know those little cutouts were there, that's kind of, Ugh. Not a huge fan. All right, we just uh, heard a call for a shooting. It's weird. They we might have two shootings, that or it's a 911 abuser. There's two calls that just went out, one at Flower, Flower and 23rd, and then there's another call at 325 West Adams. So um, they're really close to each other. They're saying that that's possibly a corrected location. We're uh, coming down the 110 at the 10 right now, so... Um, we're about uh, three minutes, maybe maybe less, depending. We'll go to that corrected location first, uh, Tay, I think would be a good a good move. They they gave it to uh, central units too, but it, it looks like it's... Yeah, it's in Newton. LAPD just got there. There's a unit that just rolled up. So we'll, we'll see what he says. We're locked into Newton right now, so we'll see what they... Uh, what they tell us, but um, there is. It's weird that there's two locations on this shooting, and they're both very, uh, very close to each other, but not not that close. Not like down the street. They're. Uh, and it was very specific, right? That they gave one's an intersection call and then one's a. Uh, Oh. That's right here. 
When I arrived, there was a male black walking northbound on the platform towards 23rd and Flowers. Have a unit just canvas that area and we're going to go check on the vehicle. Okay. Copy. Is there a possible suspect in custody? Oh. 2 3 and Flower. 2 3 and Flower. They got a suspect in custody and then we have a victim. 3. Oh, there's our guy. There's our possible shooter. Possible suspect. 23rd and Flower. 13893, Roger. Oh. Well. I don't think there's a wash on shelter. Looks like they got him. I Let's go, uh... Personnel 30, uh, let me have an RA response. Here we go. He's right here. We're in 23rd. He's on the other side. He's on the other side, on the footpath. How do we get over there? How do we get over there? That's the question. 13 l 30 Can we walk across? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Personnel 30, uh, it's going to be a male black, about 10 years of age. Oh, how do we get over there? Not conscious, not Ooh. breathing. Suffering from a gunshot wound. Uh, how do we get over there? 30 RA, flower in 23rd. I'm just going to jump the thing, come on. Adams in 23rd on flower. All right. So he's, uh, gun it sounds like gunshot wound to the head, unconscious, not breathing, and they have a uh, suspect in custody up the street that we saw. So we're gonna jump out here. the rain cover and it's not even raining. How annoying is that, huh? Where's the damn handhold? There we go. All right. So, uh, again, I think they said gunshot wound to the head, um, unconscious, not breathing. He's on the other side of the platform. It looks like there's a pedestrian walkway, and then we have a suspect in custody who's up the block. So, um, we're in a good spot right here. We're kind of, well, not kind of, we are out of the way. So, we're out of the way. LAFD's already en route, but they're heading to that other address on Adams also. And it's kind of weird that they would put out that second... Again, I thought that second location was kind of strange, but um, we're in a good spot here. They're gonna set up tape and all that, so we'll, uh, we'll wait for FD. Let's come over here. We'll see where FD ends up, and then that's, that's gonna be where we, where we end up. these up the street so we're in a good uh, we're in a good spot they're gonna come down actually you know what let's uh no they're gonna come right past us that's fine I think they're getting out over there which is kind of weird Okay, so they're gonna probably take the gurney down, down that walkway, so we'll go on the other side here. I, I doubt they're gonna transport. If he has a gunshot wound to the head, that's usually, uh, usually a, a no-go. Of 
a weird spot, huh? It's like a weird little walkway between the, the building and the train station. Kind of strange. But again, this is uh, this is going to be a, a graphic type um, situation. We don't want to we don't want to focus on that too much. Yeah, they're uh, they're asking for the um, for the canopy. Let's go down to the other end for a second. Morning. Where did that uh, Where did that suspect go? I think they're cutting that guy loose. I don't see him anywhere. The uh, the suspect they had in custody, I don't see him. So let's, uh, there's a say, uh, supervisor walking up. There was a comment the other day, people are like, why do you only talk to sergeants? And it's because they're the only ones that are actually allowed to talk to us. Officers are not technically allowed to talk to the media. So at least that's the policy here in LA. Hey, Sarge. The guy that we had in custody here, is that actually the guy or no? Okay. Is he, he's in, in the cars, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, that's pretty much it. I know you guys called it, so I'm assuming the whole area is a crime scene. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I mean, we'll be have taped off, but you know. And there's cameras everywhere, too. I mean, yeah. talk about the worst place to do something like that. Yeah, so. We're still working on it. Okay. I could investigation, so. Cool. And I would ask you for an interview, but I know you can't do it yet, so. Yeah, it's a little too preliminary. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, it's I all good. Thomas, I'll be here at some Okay, so I'll just say uh, one suspect in custody, one pronounced on the platform. Yeah, I would say one suspect is detained. Detained, okay. Yeah. All right, sounds okay. good. All right, sir, thank you so much. I'm with Key News, but that's CBS, NBC, Fox, everybody, you know, if I'm lucky. <laughs> Thanks, sir. All right, so um, they're setting up a game plan right now. They've got the rail to contend with. Um, as the sergeant said, there's one suspect who is detained. Um, we're going to be very specific about that um, because we don't want to say that, hey, that's the guy or it's not the guy, right? They could, they could determine that it's not him and they can cut him loose. So until somebody is the guy, you don't say he is. So um, FD came out, they checked out our victim. He's, um, he's deceased here, unfortunately. And then they do have someone that they saw running northbound. They, they grabbed him. We saw him, we made the right turn. So um, the assumption right now is that is the shooter, but we don't know until they're gonna you know, canvas the whole area, look for uh, evidence. And there's a million cameras down here. This is an MTA platform. There's probably, uh, I, I counted at least uh, 10 or 12 cameras right when we walked down there. So um, probably not the best, uh, probably not the best place to do that. But uh, either way, um, that's what we got so far. We'll get some more shots and then get ourselves out of here. And I prepared for the rain, by the way, as you can tell with this giant rain cover. And then we're out here and there's like no rain at all. It's very, uh, very frustrating. And I, f I feel like there's a little bit of, oh, there we go. Oh, <sighs> the worst, but I think every cop in the division's here. My goodness, check this out. It's like a million. All right, so uh, just to recap, we had a shooting here at the MTA platform. We are actually in the USC area. USC is just south of where we're standing right now. Um, Figueroa is right there, the 110 freeway, you can hear it behind Tay. Um, LAPD showed up, uh, I don't know if it's Newton or uh, Central. I 
didn't really, we'll check the RD, it doesn't matter. Um, but we had one uh, victim, unfortunately, shot with a uh, uh, fatal gunshot wound to the head here behind the platform. And um, LAPD is gonna be conducting the investigation along with, um, I believe it's Central Homicide. And that's pretty much it, that's where we're at. So on to the next one. Roll it, Tater. Should probably put on my uh, my press pass. It might help. No, no one ever asks anymore. Checking out. In uh, early on, it used to be, "Where's your press pass? Can I see your press pass?" Now it's like, "Go film the thing." Go film the thing. All right. So we've got a uh, shooting victim here in South West. Ah. Why? Why so loud? Why so loud? All right. We've got a shooting um, here at Denker and MLK. We are in Southwest Division. We just came down the. Uh, 110 got off a of king. We're going westbound right now. And um, it, it, I didn't hear the initial call for a shooting, but LAPD came up and said, hey, we're going to need an ambulance for a gunshot victim. Uh, unconscious, not breathing, 40 years of age. So I think they either heard the shots and rolled up on it or. Or maybe we just didn't hear the call. 46, yes, it's clear for a Alright, so we're a couple uh, couple blocks out. Roger, thank you. And they just cleared the fire department to, to go in there, so our timing is uh, is good. Good timing. Good timing. 45 is going to be rolling up at the shooting. Uh, again, it's Danker and MLK. Male, 40 years old, unconscious, not breathing. I'll be code 6 here in a second. And I think there's, I hear it, where is it? Can you show us code six on the incident on Denker's suspect Denker. description? Three George 24 Roger. Negative, no suspect description. So FD's behind us, they're, uh, they've been cleared to enter already. I thought they're... <laughs> yeah, I'll be sure to ask this time. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. Oh, it's raining. Got this guy running across the street with a light drizzle. Look at the, what are you doing, man? Come on. Well, I mean, you don't have to ask them. I gotta ask. I'm gonna ask every time now. Of course, we get a red light. So LAFD is coming up behind us. Um, I'm not sure if they have a uh, ambulance at the incident yet, but um, we'll uh, we'll be up there in a second. Plus, these are the guys that are gonna transport our victim if they do if they do end up transporting. So we're slightly slightly ahead of them. Well, because of the light, they're going to be ahead of us, so. And they've already got crime scene tape up. We'll go. Uh, we'll go past and flip around. Tacos. We just ate. Hmm. It's right. Oh, that's why they rolled up on it so quick. It's right in front of the. Uh, right in front of the station. Cool. We'll see if they end up transporting. I doubt they. Uh, I doubt they will, considering the condition, the condition of the uh, of the victim. But you never know.
Shooting. Huh? Shooting. Shooting? What is it? What is it? What is it? No idea. No idea? Police station right next door, right? Right now we have CPR in progress with our uh, victim. Um, unsure if it's male or female, I can't really tell. There's some uh, there's some uh, bracelets on their arms, so it, it could be a female. They just started CPR. Um, we're at we're at the back of uh, we're at the back of LAPD right here. The station is right here, so that's why we said, oh, they they heard it and asked for resources. That would uh, that would make sense. Did you guys hear it or? We were down the road, so oh, okay. we even, yeah, we weren't close to it. Gotcha. Because they, we didn't hear the uh, FD dispatch until, so I guess the unit rolled up and yeah, saw him. It was a, as far as I know, it was a detective, but gotcha. that's okay. as much as I know. Okay, that would make sense. Um, right, literally, I mean, this is your building here, right? Yeah. Kind of a ballsy place to, yeah. Yeah, again, they're doing their investigation. I couldn't tell yeah. you what's going on. No, I, I hear so I've, I've been out here with y'all. I'm just, I'm just surprised by the, uh, the placement. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, that's the end of Southwest Station oh, that behind us. Thing. Yeah, it's right here. So they heard it outside. Yeah, he said it was a detective that heard it. So um, let me explain what's going on. So um, normally LAFD will transport on something like this. Um, I can see behind you they're doing uh, CPR on our victim. Not sure if it's male or female but they uh, hooked up all the equipment to our victim and there's some type of, um, some type of either brainwave activity, uh, breathing, some, some signal uh, led them to determine that that person is still alive currently. So they started CPR, um, they're trying to help their heart going and um, they will end up transporting, but now because they started CPR, they're gonna work on that for a while. If they don't see any positive results from that, then they could still pronounce our victim here at scene. So kind of a 50-50 right now, whether they're gonna even transport, but it looks, uh, it looks like not a, good, uh, not a good position to be in. Anytime CPR is in progress, you're, you're not in a, in a good way. So we are behind LAPD Southwest uh, Division Station. The front entrance is here on King and we're on the side street. Uh, where the parking area is. Speaking with the officer here, it sounds like a detective was in the area, either heard the shooting or located the victim down, let the units know, and then called LA City Fire. So that's where we're at right now. Once we, uh, once we get some more information, we'll get an update. They called it, they just unplugged all the stuff, stopped doing CPR, and they got the sheet out, so. So they called it at 12.06. That's it. They just uh, detained somebody. 
not sure why. Not sure what this is about, if it's uh, even, I mean, I assume it's related to the, to the shooting, but, oh, they let him go, okay. All right, he was, uh, oh, that was the, that was the upstairs guy. That was the crazy guy that was upstairs yelling. They just, they, they put him in cuffs and took him out. <laughs> he's, he's talking shit behind the gate. No way. Hey, that was the guy that was yelling. He came out and he went in the crime scene, so they, they hooked him up. <laughs> no shit. What a wacko, dude. That guy's nuts. What? So the, the crazy guy that was yelling at the top of the window, I guess he got dressed and came downstairs and went into the crime scene. They didn't like that too much. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, you're so nuts that you're like, I need to go to a crime scene where there's been a shooting. Like, how crazy can you possibly be? So, that's wild. Totally wild. They're, now, they're, now they're turning his... Uh... Oh, they're adding more tape. Okay. I thought they were going to just make his, uh, his unit a crime scene because that would have been pretty wild. What's up? Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. I felt like I saw smoke or something. Now they're saying at Avenue 26, possibly. I didn't see that. No, negative. At all. It's all the back. There's no entrance to this structure. And all we did is get up on the roof of the back over here. All right, so we've got a report. It's raining right now. I'm seeing a glow over here, but I think that's Dodger, so I don't think that's... Uh. All right, 455 has reports of a uh, traffic collision with fire uh, southbound 110 to the northbound 101, and I'm uh, code 6 in the area trying to gain access here. I'm southbound 110 ahead of the break. So, yeah, there's we're in front of the break right now. A better approach. And we're trying to figure out, there's a structure fire going, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I felt like I saw right. smoke, but... Are you clear? That would be a place for a, a traffic collision though, for sure. Right. It's right here, it's coming up to right in front of us. Anyone, Roger? I don't see... I don't see, there's flashers over there. He's coming down the ramp, though. Ah, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm ready. Four, four, code six. I feel like it's probably further up at like Avenue Go ahead. It's got to be in the avenues. I can't imagine it's here. No, I don't see. Damn, where is it? Vehicle overturned on fire blocking lanes. We've been through. We've been through a bunch of the uh, transition roads already. And I'm not, I'm not seeing anything like that. I'm not seeing anything like that. We'll head back that direction, but that's. Uh, it's southbound 110, south of Avenue 43. Damn it. Alright, corrected location. CHP is calling it southbound 110, south of Avenue 43, 45 zero. And then LAFD doesn't have the correct location, so we're. Um, damn it. Stupid. Thing. So they've already got a break. We're going to go northbound. And see if we can get it from the uh, from the northbound side, and then and then make access somehow. We got flares over here also in the uh, roadway. Not sure what that's about. Why do they report it in the in the damn trans road? So this is the four level. When people talk about the four level in uh, LA, this is the uh, 
This is what they're talking about. Now I can't even see and there's a curb here. Jesus, dude. There's a car behind us I'm trying to see what the deal is. Day 455, uh, how's uh, traffic looking? I don't want to get stuck in anything. Where are you coming from? Sarah Cabrera, we 97 South on West 10 at Pasadena Avenue. I'm about to get onto the other uh, 110 here at uh, the Olympic or standby. Yeah, from uh, from Olympic. 1572, when you're clear, I have a possible medical. Uh, it's. Are you you're going for this TC that I'm on? Okay, they're putting it southbound at Avenue 43 in that area. Um, I don't think, I don't know if there's a spot to shoot it because they're saying they're coming in with a break already. FD is coming northbound from uh, the five, so that's where we're at. They were sneaking behind us. I don't know if you saw that. They were behind us. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to come off at Avenue 43. Um, they've got the whole southbound side, looks like, shut down here. Um, so I'm going to see what our best access is. But FD's behind me, so we're, we're ahead of FD already. Um, but don't, yeah, don't get stuck north of heading south. That would not be a good place. I don't think it's on fire, though. There is, well, hang on. Uh, oh, I think it might be on fire. I'm uh, northbound at 6th Street. I'll, uh, I'll see it. Yeah, it's going to be multi-vehicle, and I don't see, uh, it's a little bit on fire. Not, uh, stand by. No. No, it's just going to be uh, overturned, negative, uh, negative fire, unknown if trapped. Uh, there is an overpass there. It's going to be Pasadena Avenue is the overpass. So we're going to go back to the, uh, to over the crash. Yeah, hit Pasadena over the 110. So we're going to head, um... We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna flip back around here. I don't know why. Uh, why do people call things in that aren't the way that they are? Kind of, uh, kind of annoying. Just a little bit. So, people called it in saying it was overturned, on fire. It's over at the 110 and the 10. It's actually. What probably a couple miles, uh, a couple miles north of where they said it was. Firstly, secondly, it's not on fire, so that's kind of frustrating. But um, again, it's good that they're they're not injured. It sounds like so that's fantastic news. But again, I don't know why people call things in. It's on fire. Everybody's trapped. Nobody's trapped. Nothing's on fire. Like what? It's a radiator. Jeez. So it's all good. It happens from time to time, more often than not, I would say. We'll go over there and we'll take a look and see what they thought was the uh, end of the universe, but probably not as not as bad as uh, not as bad as, as they think. So it looks like they hit the guardrail right underneath me. We're on the uh, on the overcrossing for Pasadena over the 110. We're gonna come over here and take a look down. But if I uh, again, we saw it from the northbound side, but you can see this is not on fire and uh, nobody's trapped. Thankfully, I mean she's out. She's talking to the officers uh, down down on the freeway, but. Again, anytime it rains out here, people uh, people cannot keep themselves together. So we end up uh, we end up with these situations. So we'll wait for Gabe for a minute, and then we'll uh, and then we'll take off. We'll get out of here. So no get caught. You'll see the flip over the uh, flipped over car on the southbound as you approach Avenue 43. We're on the uh, overcrossing at Pasadena. Um, so we're up here. And uh, Tay actually noticed 
her GPS, it's Siri telling her that her exit's coming up, that she needs to, <laughs> that she needs to exit. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. There's Gabe coming northbound. There he is. You hear it? Well, again, totally not where they reported it at and uh, not the situation that we thought it was going to be. So. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a slight right and then uh, follow um, I think it's Avenue 35 around you'll see the if you're looking at the map the road to the to the east of the 110 so again we don't want anything oh FD coming northbound too so again we don't want we don't want stuff like this to happen to people it's horrendous but our job is to cover what's happening to cover uh, spot news breaking news and whenever it comes out where it's something where people say it's something that it isn't it's a little bit frustrating because if we knew if they reported this accurately we wouldn't have responded up here so that's kind of the uh the frustrating part for us but uh all right we're gonna be uh again we're gonna wait for gabe for a second and then we're gonna clear out of here Follow me? All right, cool. We're gonna go eat. Food time. Food time. All right, uh, 5.36 and uh, 4.55 are gonna be out with a uh, unknown type fire on the looks like on the mountain in Elysian Park here will be uh, will be code six looks like uh, I think it's on the hillside for Elysian we saw the glow that's so funny remember we saw I go ah, it looks like there's something glowing where oh great now I can't see it wonderful that's wonderful how is there a fire no I think I think we're going the wrong no I don't think we can get it from there Come back, come back uh, where where we uh, where you just were, and uh, go back down and jump on the southbound 110. And I think there's a shoulder here. I pray there's a shoulder. You see it? Yep. Yeah, that that, that gore point there. We can park in. Remember? Is it a sign? No, it would. Is it a sign? Ah, oh, no. Wait, it's the road sign. That looked like the craziest moving. fire and it was moving. You saw it moving, yeah, right? Yeah. What? Was it a fire or were you just seeing the sign? Yo, I think it's the sign. I think it's the sign. That looked like a, a freaking brush fire. There's no way. No way. The Caltrans sign? Ah! <laughs> they got, that got us. That got us bad. It's the same color, temperature, I mean, everything. That was, I was like, yo, there's a yeah, huge, that, like, that looked like a fire, that legit. Fire a very yeah, it was glowing and it was it was undulating. Well, we take that to our bridge. That's a first. We're never gonna discuss this. Cut it, it's gone. We're cutting the audio, that's it, it's over. We're out of here. 